Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Melanie and today I'm going to be trying out this Shape Tape Wet n Wild dupe that I've been seeing so much of and supposedly the Wet n Wild, what is this, Photo Focus Concealer is supposed to be just as good if not super comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape. So my Shape Tape is in the shade Light Medium and my photo focus concealer is in the shade light ivory so as you can see today i don't have any concealer on. i barely have any makeup on actually so we're gonna try this out and i'm also going to be trying out the nyx hd studio photogenic powder and seeing how that works out for you guys okay so on the right side of my face, I'm going to be applying the Shape Tape, and on the left, the Wet n Wild Concealer. So let's go. I absolutely love the Shape Tape. I love it, but who doesn't? As you can see, the little doe foots are quite different in size this is massive and this is really little so we might have to dip in for some more product so let's just apply that and obviously you can tell that they're not quite matching we'll make it work okay so we have it both on now so I'm just with a Dampy Beauty Blender, I'm going to blend this in. Now, the Shape Tape is super, super high coverage, which I absolutely love because my dark under eye circles are horrible. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So with the other side of the Beauty Blender, I'm gonna go in and blend the wet and wild. So, I can already see that it's a lighter coverage than the shape tape. You know, um, and this seems to almost be clinging on to some dry skin that I have here from a recent sunburn. It's clinging on a lot more than the shape tape did. Not bad coverage. I'd say this is medium to full coverage. Um, I'm sure it's buildable. I'm sure if you go in with another layer, I'm sure it'll build up to the same coverage as the shape tape. But overall, I'm not bad. Hello. I mean, I think that the Wet n Wild goes for five six bucks and then the shape tape is obviously you know a lot more expensive the finish is very similar actually I really like that if you're looking for something with a similar finish and buildable coverage I mean this is really good I like it I like it a lot so now we're gonna go in with the NYX HD studio photogenic finishing powder and um, I have not tried this before, so we're going to see how this sets. I'm not going <coughs> to... So that was a lot of powder. It smells... <coughs> that was fucking stupid. <coughs> but it has an odd scent to it. So we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit and then we're gonna brush it off and see how it sets. Dupe approved. If that's a thing. So, okay, so now I'm just gonna take a big powder brush and just brush the powder away. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. So, this is kind of not brushing away here. What is this? What, um, what the? 
do you see this? It didn't cling onto the shape tape side that much, but what the hell? Let me just try and take it off my finger. Okay, there we go. It was like, what the fuck? Besides that little weird white patch that was on my eye, um, I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best. Let's do the flashback test. Got my phone here. Let's test this puppy out. What? Guys, this is horrible. What the hell is this? Look at that. I look like Casper. So clearly this did not pass the flashback test. This failed. Like there's no tomorrow. What the fuck? So yeah, if you're looking for something with no flashback and I mean, no, uh, don't really approve of this. I mean, if you're looking for something cheap, and this retails for like, what, 10 bucks? Um, if you're looking for something cheap just to set your foundation or your concealer and you are planning on not going out and taking flash pictures, I mean, this will do the job. It'll set your concealer, your foundation. I just do not recommend taking flash pictures because, <laughs> bitch, no. Yeah. Mm-mm. Thumbs down for this one for me. But definitely the Wet n Wild dupe for the Shape Tape. Awesome. Totally recommend it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe. And next week I'll be back for more.